check this out, guys. Yeah, this, this is, is ridiculous. Like, I looked out my, my window and we're literally yards from the edge of a cliff. This is amazing. Welcome back. You're watching episode two of X Overland series, Out and About. Fresh off of Expo West, XO film editor Brendan, along with social media manager and all around tech ninja, Andy, are leaving Flagstaff, Arizona to head off on their first solo trip for a couple nights in Arizona and Utah. They are driving our 2020 Toyota Tacoma Raven, and we'll be doing this official shakedown for our rebuild of this awesome truck. Well guys, we just finished up Expo West. Uh, they're loading up the trucks on the semi to ship back. Me and Andy are gonna take Raven and drive through Utah, maybe do some exploration and drive it back to Montana. So let's go. Onward and onward. <laughs> let's roll. Right now we're booking it to Big Water. It's about two hours out. Uh, just gonna hit the road hard and crash in the tent, <laughs> basically. So that we can get started fresh tomorrow. It's been a long weekend. What's the biggest takeaway oh, <laughs> you had from Expo West? We, we met so many just fantastic people. Um, just absolute incredible people. Um, and for me, you know, it's like, I, I knew that the community was really strong and I knew that there was a lot of great people out there, but I didn't know how many or how consistently everybody was awesome. So really just meet, meet the people, shaking the hands, um, you know, just getting to know everybody was amazing. Met, like I said, met some just incredible people, incredible people. Not only that, we got to announce our Nordic series, yeah, um, which was, was so fun. That, when he announced that, I just got goosebumps because yeah. you could feel the energy in the crowd. After some route planning, Brendan and Andy realized they are temptingly close to Arizona's celebrated Grand Canyon. So they decide to pivot from their original plan and backtrack in hopes of waking up the next morning to an epic view of this iconic geological landscape. One thing we're super excited about for this out and about is really tapping into the Onyx off-road system. It plays really well into our uh, Tacomas with the CarPlay. Uh, so we're gonna use it pretty much as our primary navigation tool for all of our travel for this trip. So we're gonna be tapping into the waypoints. Um, Kurt Williams gave us some incredibly great intel. Um, for trails that we're gonna be looking at. And so for me, I don't have a ton of experience with Onyx, so I'm gonna use it as a really good learning opportunity uh, to really tap in. So we'll see how this one goes. Good morning guys. Good morning. We're at the Grand Canyon. We were driving up last night and we were um, looking at maps and we we're like, huh, we are so close to the north rim of the Grand Canyon. Why would we not want to pull off and go check it out? It was one o'clock when we rolled in, so it was dark for the whole 40 miles of dirt road, and it was just, it's amazing. We woke up, we had no idea what we were getting into. We knew we were close, but like, we were driving, we're literally yards from the edge of a cliff. Yeah, yeah we stopped last night, and I was like, huh, I don't think I see any more earth that way. We're gonna pack up, we're gonna motor on out, we're gonna go uh, fuel up, top everything off, make sure we're all good, and then we're gonna go hit that other scenic route and see how that goes. So, I'm hungry. Let's get some food. Let's do it. With a solid night's rest and their stoke past the red line, 
These two XO newbies begin the day by setting out to tackle the formidable Smoky Mountain 4x4 Road. The Smoky Mountain 4x4 Road is a designated scenic backway for the world-renowned and very popular Utah Route 12. We're excited for this trail. Our main goal of this trip back is to do this trail. I don't know the, how technical it's gonna be, but it's gonna be interesting because I haven't done a lot of technical trails. So if there's any challenges, it will most likely be due to user error because this truck is more than capable. So I'm excited, we'll see how this goes. Time spent driving along a backcountry route is a great way to get to know your travel buddy and your rig. I'm confident that Andy and Brendan will return to the Exo Hangar with better knowledge of themselves, each other, and a little overland travel experience. These primitive canyon roads were once traveled on foot by native peoples who knew this area as their home. Then the trails were made a little wider by those traveling on horseback and in wagons, searching for new lands to start a new life. Now Andy and Brendan travel along this same path within the relative comfort of a 4x4, looking for adventure in a little bit of R&R. If you find yourself on the Smoky Mountain Road, try not to be in a rush. It's a privilege to be here in this uniquely beautiful and remote landscape. Slow down, look around, and see all that there is to see. As the canyon walls reach their end, Brendan and Andy encounter a rolling roadblock of sorts. My guess is that the boys never thought they'd be herding cattle, a little known skill every season overlander eventually comes to learn. When passing cows though, try to do so without stressing the animal. Your local rancher will thank you. Yeah, we just took a detour and now we're doing another job. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we got a phone call from a local rancher saying he had two missing cows and we have located them. <laughs> They're right there. You can't just move out of the way, we'll leave you be. Well, we made it out, alive, and together. Alive. And our tires aren't flat, and our truck still runs. Raven's holding up. That was, that was an awesome trail. We're gonna turn a burn, go set up camp, eat some dinner, and tomorrow's, we're in for a long haul. Get all the way home. A person! A person! It's the first we person we've seen in we 50 seen a miles. In a long time. 50 whole miles. Hi! She's pulling her pants up. <laughs> <laughs> was, Sorry! That was a little random. I absolutely would recommend that trail. It's kind of a game of vehicle sympathy. I would say plan a full day for it. We kind of tried to motor through it. Um, Obviously, we did take time to enjoy it, but if you want to fully enjoy it, I'd say take a full day for it. Yeah. At day's end, both the boys and Raven have been trail tested and are beginning to prove themselves worthy of the XO badge. For tonight, all that is left is to make camp and prepare the galley. It's taco time. You done yet? Any day now. I'm hurrying, okay? I'm hungry. Let's get dinner. All right, I'm done with the two chairs. Nice. Dinner's on. Once the stress is out of it, it's like, now we can actually kind of enjoy it. I feel great. Like, 
We have driven and driven and driven and driven and driven and driven and driven today. Now we are planted and can actually hang. What a great way to end Expo West. I want to give a huge shout out to Chip over at Wobasto. He got us hooked up with some Senior Gordon's taco seasoning. Uh, he brought it all the way from where he's from. And i um, going to give it a shot tonight. I've never had it before, so I'm looking forward to seeing how, how good it is. I've heard fantastic things about it, though. Well, you got to hot tortillas over here ready for, ready for some tacos. Taco Monday. Oh. Hey. Hey, cheers. Yeah, cheers. One, one second, one second. Gotta get my taco rolled up. It's falling apart. Cheers, cheers. Cheers. Mm. Yeah, shout out to Chip. Wow. What a, an experience. I've never done anything like this. I've been on a lot of road trips, but I've never taken such a, like, strategic back road before like that that long yeah that. So 75 miles is a lot um brennan and i are super super stoked to be here um but we're very very excited to motor on back to bozeman tomorrow morning because um, we got some stuff waiting for us there but as always uh thank you for your support uh, it means the world we love seeing everybody this past week at expo and uh we look forward to what's to come so you know, have fun out there, enjoy, tread lightly, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Or on the next one. That's a wrap. That's a wrap. Okay. I'm tired. Whoa. Oh, <laughs> me. <laughs> no. <laughs> the first time you ever fist bump with force. <laughs> I'm still <laughs> tired nacho. <laughs>With the newest iteration of Raven showing promise in the field and the guys' first Expo West in the rearview mirror, the boys make their way north to Montana in the big sky country we call home. Looks to me like they've had an awesome trip. You know, some of the best little trips are the ones you remember, especially when you're just getting started. With that, we'll see you on the next episode of Out and About. And until then, seek your own adventure and create your own stories to tell around the campfire. Remember to tread lightly, and wherever they take you, happy trails from all of us here at Expedition Overland.